Good morning. Love is a lie. Number 171. 171. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We had a very powerful night here last night. I know a number of you were here for confirmation. Young people made their commitment, and Archbishop Carlson gave them the anointing with the perfume right on their forehead. We do that because of the season we're in. I've been thinking all week about our seasons. We have a lot of seasons going on right now, so we'll talk about what seasons we have going. What is a season? Let's ask God first to forgive our sins. Jesus, you reconcile us to one another and to your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you alone heal the wounds of our sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Jesus, you now pray for us at the right hand of the Father in heaven. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray that we who have come to know the grace of Jesus' resurrection may through the love of the Spirit ourselves rise to newness of life with him, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing murderous threats against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus that if he should find any men or women who belonged to the way, he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey, as he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? 
He said, Who are you, sir? The reply came, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, for they heard the voice but could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was unable to see, and he neither ate nor drank. There was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias, and the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias. He answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and ask at the house of Judas for a name from Tarsus named Saul. He is there praying. And in a vision he has seen a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him, that he may regain his sight. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard from many sources about this man what evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And here he has the authority from the chief priest to imprison all who call upon your name. But the Lord said, Go, for this man is a chosen instrument in mine to carry my name before the Gentiles, kings, and children of Israel. And I will show him what he will have to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house, laying his hands on him. He said, Saul, my brother, the Lord has sent me. Jesus, who appeared to you on the way by which you came, that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, things like scales fell from his eyes, and he regained his sight. He got up and was baptized, and when he had eaten, he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with the disciples in Damascus, and he began to once proclaim Jesus in the synagogues, that he is the Son of God, the Word of the Lord. Please respond. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness towards us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world. The Lord be with you. We have a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews asked among themselves, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise you on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, 
and I in you. Just as the living Father sent me, so I have life because of the Father. Also, the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things he said while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum, the gospel of the Lord. I've thought this week about, where's this thing? It's all right. Where'd that go? I'm up here. Okay. I've thought about the seasons that we're in. Now, what is a season? A season is a number of days. We kind of arbitrarily block a bunch of days together for a certain reason, for a certain cause. And we call it a season. Now, God does it, first of all, I talked with our fifth grade the other day to make sure you know, first of all, what are our four natural seasons, the seasons we have from God? Just one at a time. What? Summer. Summer is one of them. Spring. Spring. Fall. Fall. We're missing my favorite. Winter. Winter. Okay. Which one are we in right now? What? We're in spring right now for a while yet. The seasons kind of turn and they change, okay? But there's other seasons. We're having a big season around us in the church. And then I realized we've got four other seasons going on. Four seasons because of our sports teams, okay? And we call it this season and that season. And then I'm going to kind of mix it up with our sports teams and with the church season that we're in. See if you know the name of the church season that we're in. So back to the fifth grade one more time, since they're hosting us today. In one season around St. Louis, people are grieving and mourning because a very popular leader died this week. What season am I talking about? Huh? No, that, the, you get the wrong question. But baseball. baseball season. The baseball season in St. Louis is really mourning. We're going to hear a lot more about Whitey Herzog. Under him, I got to go to the World Series in 82 and in 85. I don't think I went in 87. But Whitey Herzog brought us three World Series in 10 years. That's a lot. A different season. I get off of baseball for a moment. In this season, the season is actually over right now for this year. And the season just ended. And even though we had a winning record, we did not make the playoffs, which really broke the heart of a certain first grade teacher that we have, <laughs> all right? What season did we end and not make the playoffs? The hockey season, okay? And I looked up and started, I said, are you kidding me? We got 10 games over 500, and we still didn't make the playoffs. A seventh grade is gonna get a hard question coming up. So where's our first grade? Are we here today? So many people. Where's our first grade? There we are. Because I understand you have a song that's gonna help us with our next season, okay? Because there is a season in which we are on day 20 of a 50-day season. A 50-day season, and we just started to get into the middle of it, and I think you had a song about this season, all right? What 50-day season, how does it end? Yeah. With what? Easter, it began. What, what's the song you ended it with? She's snapping her fingers. Do you remember the song you learned? Okay. And what's the end of this season? She's got it. Pentecost is the end of it. Yeah. Pentecost means 50 days. So Pentecost ends the Easter season. That's a good, uh, good song that you know. 50 days, that's what the word Pentecost means. Now let's go back to another season, a sports season. In this season... It's actually the second season for this team in St. Louis. And when they began last year in their first season, to everyone's surprise, they won their division. All right? A St. Louis team that only began a year ago and in the first year won the division. What? St. Louis City. Okay, we know about the soccer season because that was really a big deal. That caused us a lot of rejoicing. Here's a different season altogether. This one's funny to me. 
In this season, on Sundays usually, men start off by grilling hamburgers and bratwurst, and then as the day goes on, they put on feather costumes and make bird calls. All right, what season is that? We got back to fifth grade, what's that? Yeah, football, and the name of the team is? Battlehawks, yeah. It still jars me to see grown men wearing feathers all over them. I don't know what that's all about. This, back to the other season we talked about, which season began over here on a Saturday night with pouring water over the head of a grown-up. Right over here, a grown-up lady put her head over and got water poured on her. Do we know what that was? What? Baptism, all right, began the Easter season. Back to the Easter season, it began on Holy Saturday night with the baptism right here. Now, where's my seventh grade? So I'm gonna give them that hard question again. Now, the eighth grade had this question a couple weeks ago, so you should know it, okay? Name a season in which, these are really all guys, men in these teams. Name a season in which if a guy succeeds only three times out of 10, he's a hero. A guy could get up and fail seven times out of ten, and they'd go, he's great. We're going to pay him millions of dollars. You remember this from a couple of weeks ago? What? Baseball. baseball. The baseball season. A good, good lesson for life. Don't worry about failing, because in baseball, if you fail seven times out of ten, you're a hero. Okay? And they'll pay you a lot of money. So, what team, I think someone else had this other answer earlier, see if we know. What team in St. Louis, what season has a man with only one name, he doesn't go by two names, and the first letter is K and the last letter is S? Who am I thinking of? All right. Some of our other people over there got it. Who? No? Good, good idea. Who? Klaus. He knew it. All right. One name begins with K, ends with S, Klaus. However, today in the gospel... We quoted a man that also has usually just one name. And his name began with J and ends with S. All right? A one name star, a hero for us, begins with J, ends with S. Who? Jesus. And Jesus said this really funny thing in the gospel again today. I am the bread of life. If you want to have life, you must keep feeding on me. He said, I got life from the Father. And I'll give you life if you keep feeding on me. What's next here? In our season in the church, the Easter season, oh boy, I shouldn't have said that. Okay. What we just heard today is a man named Paul who was knocked down. He had been antagonizing, killing even, hurting Christians for being Christian, not so much killing him, but putting him in jail. And God knocked him down on the road and raised him up, and he got baptized, and he became a great leader. What season is that? We just heard it this morning. What's the season in which we tell the story of Paul? We've been saying it all morning. This is one of our main Easter season readings, okay? So we're back to the Easter season. That's what I want to end on. Because of St. Paul, we're all here. If St. Paul hadn't done his work, most of us would not be here. Because to that point, only Jewish people were learning about Christ. And they said, hey, if you're not Jewish, you don't get to know about Jesus. Well, I don't think most of us are Jewish. Maybe some are, in part. But all of us are here because St. Paul opened it up. So we've learned about seasons. We've learned we have four nature seasons. We've learned we have four sports seasons. And we've got this other big season that overlaps it all called the Easter season. And as our first grade told us, we're going to celebrate this it's only day 20, so we got 30 more days until the Feast of Pentecost when the Easter season will end. Let's stand and make our petitions. For the leaders of the church, may they be like the risen Christ, a shining light for all to follow. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For an end to violence in our world, 
May the hatred, fear, and anger in people's hearts be replaced by peace and love. We pray to the Lord. For our school community, as we focus on the virtue of perseverance, this quarter, may we keep trying to avoid giving up even when tasks are difficult or it, if it takes a long time to achieve our goals. We pray to the Lord. For the eighth graders in our parish who celebrated the sacrament of confirmation last night, may they be strengthened to be active witnesses of Jesus Christ and spread the good news in all they say and do. We pray to the Lord. For everyone who is sick or suffering, may they be comforted by the knowledge that Jesus is with them and for their caregivers. May they have the patience and understanding to be the hands, heart, and feet of Jesus to others. We pray to the Lord. For those who have died with the hope of joining the resurrected Lord in heaven, may they rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. We pray for Teresa Schlitt, who we've been asked to pray for this morning. We pray to the Lord. Father, you give us the wonderful seasons that change out and around us. Thank you for the wonder of nature. Thank you for our whole community that celebrates in so many ways, and especially this wonderful season of Easter, when we continue to proclaim and rejoice that Jesus rose from the dead. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Bread and wine is here. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, graciously make holy these gifts, we pray, and accepting our offering of this spiritual sacrifice with Jesus, 
make us ourselves an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this season of Easter, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Overcome with paschal joy this Easter time, Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. In this Eucharistic prayer, we pray the salvation of Jesus will help everyone in the world. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, as he just said in the Gospel, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and his ascension into heaven, and as we look, look forward to his second coming on earth, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, 
especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Margaret Mary Alico, and with all the saints on his constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Mitchell, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have gathered before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <coughs> Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray now for the coming of God's kingdom over all the earth as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God, and the glory of yours, Lord Jesus Christ, on Easter Day you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
start, I think we invite the adult parishioners to come first before the school does. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Blessed be the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy.
Let us pray. Lord, we have partaken of the gifts of bread and wine in this sacred mystery. We ask you that what your son commanded us to do, to eat his body and drink his blood in memory of him, may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. This Easter season has wonderful things like confirmation last night, and in two weeks from this Saturday, another Easter celebration will be the first communion of our second grade children. So after that time on, they'll be receiving communion with us. So we look forward to that in the wonderful Easter season. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Yeah. Our rosary intentions today will be for Patrick Quinn, who has been in intensive care for nine weeks. There will be also in your intentions and the intentions of the Holy Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father, almighty creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell the third day. He arose again from the dead and ascended into heaven. He sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For the increase of the acts of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. And Jesus, protect and save the unborn. <clears throat> the five sorrowful mysteries, the first mystery, the agony in the garden. The spiritual fruit is God's will be done. <clears throat> Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus comes with his disciples to Gethsemane. Stay here while I go yonder and pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Entering the garden with Peter, James, and John, Jesus prays, my soul is sorrowful unto death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Jesus sees the sins of all mankind, whose guilt he has taken upon himself. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. He sees the wrath of the Father, which his sufferings must appease. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. So great is his anguish that his sweat becomes as drops of blood falling to the ground. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. An angel appears to him from heaven to strengthen him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass me from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Finding the disciples asleep, could you not watch one hour with me? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Jesus is betrayed by Judith, cruelly bound and led away. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Father, by the merits of the agony of Jesus in the garden, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy, and Jesus, protect and save the unborn. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. The spiritual fruit is purity. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Jesus is taken before the high priest where he is falsely accused, buffeted, and insulted. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. The Jewish leaders take Jesus before Pilate, for only he can impose the death penalty. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. The robber Barabbas is preferred to Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Pilate can find no cause in him, yet to appease the Jews, he orders Jesus to be scourged. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. The scourge is made of leather thongs to which are attached small, sharp bones. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Jesus is bound to a pillar and cruelly scourged until his whole body is covered with deep wounds. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. The Lamb of God offers his sufferings for the sins of mankind. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Jesus suffers so much in his sacred flesh to satisfy, especially for sins of the flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. The prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled. He was wounded for our iniquities. He was bruised for our sins. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Father, by the merits of this painful scourging, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. All glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. 
and Jesus protect and save the unborn. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns, spiritual fruit, reign of Christ in our hearts. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Pilate asks, are you a king? Jesus answered, I am a king, but my kingdom is not of this world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the praetorium, the soldiers place an old purple robe on Jesus in mockery of his claim to be a king. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. They fashion a crown out of thorns, and forcefully press it down upon his head. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In his bound hands they place a reed as a scepter <coughs> in mockery of his kingship. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Kneeling before him in derision, they spit on him and cry out, Hail, King of the Jews. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sin, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Taking the reed from his hands, they strike him on the head, driving the thorns more deeply into his scalp. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pilate brings Jesus before the people, hoping his pitiful sight will soften them. Behold the man. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. They respond, urged on by the Jewish leaders, crucify him, crucify him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinner. now and at the hour of our death, amen. Our blessed Lord submitted to this terrible humiliation to make reparation for our pride. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, by the merits of a painful humiliation, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sin, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most near thy mercy. And Jesus protect and save the unborn. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. And the spiritual fruit is patient bearing of trials. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. One condemned to death by crucifixion is forced to carry the cross to the place of execution. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. The suffering of Jesus is intense as a cross is laid on his bruised and wounded back and shoulders. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Weak and exhausted from loss of blood, lack of food and rest, Jesus falls three times under the cross. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Jesus meets his afflicted mother, causing untold anguish in the hearts of son and mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. The countenance of Jesus is disfigured with blood and sweat and dust and spittle. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Veronica wipes his face, leaving on her towel the image of his countenance. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Fearing that Jesus might die on the way, the soldiers forced Simon of Cyrene to carry the cross behind Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Jesus speaks to the weeping women. Weep not for me, but for yourselves and for your children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. If anyone is to be my disciple, let him take up his cross and follow me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Father, by the merits of this painful journey to Calvary, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy, and Jesus, protect and save the unborn. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. Spiritual fruit of this mystery is pardoning of injuries. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. The hands and feet of Jesus are nailed to the cross in the presence of, a, of his afflicted mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Today you will be with me in paradise. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Woman, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. I thirst. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. It is finished. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. The sight of Jesus is pierced with the lance. His body is taken down and placed in the arms of his mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Father, by the merits of the crucifixion and death of Jesus, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. All glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. And Jesus, protect and save the unborn. Remember, O oh, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, all evil spirits who go about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And may the souls of all the faithful departed, the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. A prayer for a priest. Dear Lord, we pray that the Blessed Mother wrap her mantle around your priest and through her intercession, strengthen them for their ministry. We pray that Mary will guide your priest to follow her own words. Do whatever he tells you. May your priest be Mary's most chaste spouse. May the Blessed Mother's own pierced heart inspire them to embrace all who suffer at the foot of the cross. May your priest be holy, filled with the fire of your love, seeking nothing but your greater glory and the salvation of souls. Amen. St. John Vianney, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, Holy Spirit, amen.